What's up guys, my name is K9 and welcome back to the pack. So today we're back again with either.io, which is basically Would You Rather. I've done a few episodes of this, so if you haven't seen this already, I will quickly explain it for you. Two options you have, you pick one and then basically it says what percentage of people that picked that answer agreed with you, etc. So I thought I'd explain that quickly so I can just get straight on with it. These are usually messed up. Little disclaimers to people that haven't actually seen this before. So, first one, would you rather have a college slash university named after you or have a sports stadium named after you? Who wouldn't want a college uni- who would want to learn about me? Who would want to learn- why is this the K9 university? Because he's a dipshit. Okay, well I'm gonna go for a sports stadium simply because- oh, 43%. I was about to say, I'm going to go for a sports stadium simply because I did a lot of athletics. I do dance. A sports stadium can be more my thing to be named after. Not that that would ever happen because I'm not very good at sport. Would you rather be Godzilla or be King Kong? King Kong. 43%. What is going on? Who would want to be a giant lizard compared to a giant ape? Giant apes have massive, like, oh, dropping stuff. Massive pecs and, sh you know. I feel like I'm making making sexual jokes about apes. That's not that's not okay. Don't do that. That is not okay. If you had to do one one every other year, would you rather live completely alone on an island, or be overworked in a cramped factory? Every other year is that is that like you had to do it for a week, for a day, for a year? I don't. Oh shit! No, it says every other year. Does that mean you have to do like? Let's say I'd live at home this year, and then next year I have to live in one of these. I'd, I'd rather live completely. Oh, I don't know because I, I don't like being on my own. I miss people too much. Uh, I guess uh, I've just I've just realised it's it's not really. I'm not sure if it's a better option because I'm not sure how you'd get food on the island. But then again, being overworked in cramped factories is not something you want. I'd rather be punched in the face with brass knuckles by Mike Tyson, or punch a toddler and be seen by thousands of people. Oh my god! It's like that. There's a video on Facebook, like literally a few years back, where there was this break dancer. And <laughs> this toddler walked into the little circle and he kicked this toddler in the face and it went all over. Oh, it felt so bad. So, it, like, I wouldn't want to punch a toddler and be seen. Literally, would it, would it be accidental or would it be purposely? Like, come, come here, just punch a toddler in the face for no reason. Or would it be like an accidental, like, swing of the. Oh, I don't know. Oh. oh. Being punched in the face with brass knuckles by Mike Tyson, though. No. That'd break my jaw. You'd either go viral for hitting a kid, or go viral for... Well, you won't go viral for this. You just basically break your face. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, oh my God. 52% of people would rather punch a toddler in the face and be seen by thousands. Bloody hell. I'm not sure. That wasn't really even even a selfless thing to do. Me just get punched in the face. I just don't want to hit a toddler and be seen by. I would be so judged. Oh my god! I'm trying to sing everything you say or dance on your movements. Dance on my movements. I do that already. Just massively. Oh, dropping stuff again. So, I'm not really a singer, as you guys have seen on this channel. So I wouldn't rather sing everything I say, because that would be weird. But dance. Dance all your movements is also weird, but I do that all the time anyway, just like dancing all over the place. Da -da 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 -da. I'm normal. Right, let's go for the next question. Would you rather have free tickets to the Super Bowl for life or get $20,000 to never watch NFL games again? Now, this is an easy question. I live in England, therefore, I haven't ever been to the Super Bowl. I've watched it, so it wouldn't really matter if I had free tickets because I could just watch it online. Or get $20,000 to never watch NFL games again. I don't watch NFL games, so that's easy. I'll get $20,000. Yes, mate. I want my money. Give me my moons. Give me my dollar. Give me my bad dollar. Would you rather constantly have wrinkled clothes or never have toothpaste? This isn't even related. How does this make any sense? Um, I already constantly have wrinkled clothes. This clothes quite wrinkled. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see it? I don't know. It's quite wrinkled. I don't iron my clothes very much unless it's like a special occasion. Even then, I don't do it. I'm very lazy. It takes a lot of time. I'd rather just have wrinkled clothes. No one's going to judge me for what I wear. Okay, would you rather talk only in an auto-tune voice or talk in a stereotypical grandma voice? <laughs> oh, my God. It was temp I don't even know. How do you do a grandma voice? Oh, old oh, whippersnapper, give me a kiss. Give me your candy. Oh my god, I've just realised. I think my nan watches some of these videos. That is not, literally not, my impression of her at all. It's stereotypical, I guess, isn't it? Or talking in an auto-tuned voice. 
I don't know quite how to do that with my mic, so I can't really demonstrate. So I, I think I'd rather talk in it only in an auto-tune voice. Because then you'll sound very nice. It's auto-tuned, even though it'll sound very obviously auto-tuned. Because auto-tune is very obvious. There's a lot of people actually don't seem to realise that they make music with auto-tune voice. Instead, it's like, oh, it's completely natural. No, it's not. You sound like a robot. Which superpower would you rather? Superhuman memory, ability to retain all information you learn. How is that a superpower? Or teleportation? Ooh. See, my science friends and my brother have let me know that teleportation would not be possible. Simply because you basically destroy yourself and recreate it. And I also remember watching that Big Bang Theory as well, so a lot of people have actually told me that. I'm not sure whether it's true or not, but teleportation... I guess if it's stereotype, if it's like a, let's say, just if it could happen, then probably teleportation. Because I don't... My memory's decent. It's not perfect but it's decent so i think that i don't really want to be able to retain all information i learn all right i'm gonna go for teleportation 68 percent. okay yes i'm doing good i'm doing good obviously I've, I, if you haven't noticed already i'm not doing my peg thing today simply because it really hurt last time i came up with a, like proper proper red marks and i was almost bleeding at one point as well because they're different pegs and they hurt more so i don't know why that happened if you're about to die in five minutes, would you rather do everything you would want in those five minutes or call your family? Can I not do both? I would want to call my family, so how does that work? Um, okay. Hit two birds with one stone. I'm going to go for this one. Do everything you would want in those five minutes simply because I would call my family in those five minutes anyway, because that's what I want to do. So I'll do that. These guys just didn't really see the question properly, did they? Okay, would you rather have 50% of your body burned or 100% of your body tattooed? Oh, okay. So I've got tattoos. I've got this one. I've got this one, obviously. But I don't... I wouldn't want 100% of my body tattooed. But I also wouldn't want 50% of my body burned. Which 50%? Like, how badly burned are we talking? Are we talking first degree burn, second degree burn... Deadpool style burn. Imagine if I had 100% of my body tattooed, like my eyeballs, my penis. Okay, let's go for this one. See, oh, right, okay, at least a lot of people agree with me. I don't, that was a hard question. I don't want either of those things. That would be painful. That would also be, oh, that would be painful. Bloody hell, 100%. So that'd take ages. Okay, last question. Let's go for the last one. Would you rather catch your best male friend sleeping with your mum? Or catch your best male friend sleeping with your sister. Now, this is where the problem lies, guys. This is where the problem lies. A best male friend sleeping with your mum. My mum's married. I don't, I don't think that would ever happen. It wouldn't ever happen. Okay, but catch your best male friend sleeping with your sister. Okay, here's where it gets weird. My sister is nearly three years old. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to go for this one because if my best male friend slept with my sister, they'd be doing a lot of jail time and a lot of hospital time. Right, well, that does it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love doing these things. They're so weird and messed up, but that's quite, that's why I like it so much. And I hope you enjoy Would Rather Still. It's a bit on and off depending on whether you do like it, but I hope you did. If you did, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more like this, then subscribe. Now I can see you. Oh my god, that was weird.